everybody, Cindy Utter here with my artsy endeavors and my kitty cat. This is Abby. Come on, get down. All right, what we're going to do today is we're going to start working on my story. And the first um, part of my story is going to be my previous life. When I say previous life, I mean my life before the accident and before all the chronic pain. So that's what we're going to work on right now. Um, this, like I said, this is a... Uh, like almost like a cardstock type of type of paper and I decided I want to change it a little bit and I'm not too fond with the just the tans and the creams so what I'm going to do this is too light for me so first thing I'm going to do is we're going to tape this down and I'm just using regular uh, this is black anaconda snake tape.com Now what I'm going to do on this page is I'm actually going to show what my life was life was like prior to um, prior to the accident. This has got like a white line on it where I ripped it, so I'm just going to trim it up real quick. I can see the white core of the paper. All right, so there. So what we're going to do, we're just going to lay this down. I like it much better already. Okay, this little flappy thing I'm going to keep here. And I think I'm going to put my story on here. And then this side, I've got this left over from the piece. This is where I tore off that other sheet. I have quite a bit of, of scrapbook paper. And yes, I do do scrapbooking. I actually am in the process of making a few books. I have one for my husband with all of his street rods and that kind of stuff. I have one for my oldest granddaughter, Haley. And I also am starting a new one for my youngest granddaughter, Nora. And then, all right, we're going to lay this down here. And then the other one I have is for myself. I actually started one that's um, about my trip to Vegas with the girls. So, um, it's the first thing I've really done since the accident. So, it was nice. It was hard, but it was nice. All right, come on. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this paper down here. So, it's along the edge. And then... This one, I'm going to put down right here. Ta -da! Okay, so this is going to be the beginning of my story. I don't even want, to, maybe I'll say chapter one. That works, right? All right, so chapter one. Uh, let me grab the rest of the stuff that I had. I have some um, papers here, some actually pictures. And some of these are going to be cut down. So, we're going to start with my story. This first part of my story is, here's me. I was actually, on this day, I was on my way to a wedding. Um, however, when I saw this picture of me in the car, I thought, mm-hmm. I spent so much time in the car, it was crazy. Um... I'm just cutting off some of the extra here. I don't want all these big pictures. So I'm just cutting some of it off. So again, this was my life prior to my accident. I actually spent lots and lots of time in the car. All right. Um, one of the reasons I spent lots of time in the car is for this reason. This was actually my crew, um, my team that I had at the company where I was working. And this is an older picture. Um, this is for, from quite a few years ago. Um, but this is one of the reasons I was on the road a lot. <laughs> and that was because of my job. So that's picture number two. All right, another picture. Motorcycles. Road motorcycles 
all the time with my hubby. This was my bike. It's a Kawasaki Vulcan 900. So we're going to cut this down. And give me a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that. So I'm back. Um, it was lunchtime. <laughs> so we had to go do lunch, and it's all good now. All right, so we were talking about the Kawasaki. Again, this, um, I had my own bike. I have my motorcycle license. Um, my husband and I really enjoyed riding. We had a lot of fun. Previous life. <laughs> uh, here's another thing. Um, this was actually taken at a Syracuse basketball game. Um, it's very difficult at this point for me to get to these games because there's a lot of walking involved. So again, previous life. This is a picture from a long, long time ago, and this is of myself, my husband, and my two boys um, roller coaster riding. Yeah, that says it all. Net no more. We don't do any roller coaster rides anymore. So, all right, and then let's see. This one, um, I printed this picture out because this represents uh, to me family dinners. Um, around the holidays or um, special days, Mother's Day, that sort of thing. I norm I used to put on great big huge family gatherings. I actually have a table um, that extends to feet 16 people in my kitchen. So um, yeah, this, this is a big thing for me that's gone. Um, I just can't I can't deal with the whole that many people and that much work and it's just not possible to do anymore and I'm putting this on here because I need to straighten that out because that would have driven me crazy all right so I'm gonna flip this over big large family dinners pre um, this picture was taken this was uh, my hubby and I we were down in Mexico um, long trips Mm -mm, doesn't happen anymore especially ones that require a ton of travel and a ton of walking and that sort of stuff doesn't happen what else do we have we have this is a friend of mine and myself uh, we actually on this day we had a limo with a bunch of girls and we did wine tours again it's just the walking that's involved the um, you know planning okay we're gonna do this on this certain day well that was my life before we're gonna get more into why it's not my life now okay oh here's the other one uh, this one goes with the family dinner see I told you we have a great big huge long table and it just keeps expanding so um, that I'm not sure we'll put that in here somehow here's another thing uh, my husband and I both own kayaks and we used to do quite a bit of kayaking and the way things are now, number one, I can't get in and out of a kayak, so that's very difficult. Um, you know, I'm missing out on the outdoors, and, and we really enjoyed doing this. We had a lot of fun together um, being outdoorsy, okay? So that's another thing in my previous life. And the last one I've got here, this is actually a picture of myself and another friend, and we went to we went on a week long vacation down to Massanutten, which is in Virginia, and this was a zip lining photo. Um, physically, I don't know would I do it again if I could. I might, but that's not possible. So these are my previous life that I want to get put in this journal somehow. This one's got to be cut down a little bit more. And we're basically going to do um, a page around these photos. And this, like I said, this is chapter one. And this is my previous life prior to a, um, an accident which completely changed my life. So let's figure out how we're going to put these in. I know I just kind of want to randomize them. Randomize them. Is that a word? I want to randomize them. Uh, let's see. This one, I've got to take this white edge off. See that white right there? It's driving me nuts. It's got to come off. Bye-bye. Cut this down a little bit. Get rid of some things we don't need. Uh, we'll do 
here. Okay. All right. So that one's gone. That's not going to go on there. I have another plan for this little inclusion here. Um, with my my job, with my previous job, um, we would. I was an auditor for a corporation, and ton, 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 ton of road travel. So. I mean, these two really go together because that's what I did 90% of the time was I was on the road um, with my team. I just want to cut this one down a little bit more. So basically, um, to kind of sum this all up, my previous life, I was very active. I was able to go and do pretty much anything, anytime, anywhere. Um, I was the type of person that I would call up my girlfriend and say, hey, pack a bag, I want to go away this weekend. She's like, okay, where to? Um, it was that type of a life. And, you know what, I don't know if I want to put that one in there. I think I'm just going to put that one. Yeah, these are going to be a little bit different here. So it was, it was a different style, lifestyle, than what I have now. So let's go ahead and tape these down. I'm going to start with this one. Again, I'm just using some tape. Um, this is really done on a cardstock. So this, you know, this book is going to be partial uh, scrapbooking. Um, it's going to be some journaling. It's, it's, you're going to see some mixed media in here. It's going to be a little bit of everything because it's my story. Actually, you know what? There's another picture I should put in here. Another thing I used to do, and I have the pictures here somewhere, is um, stained glass. See? There's my stained glass. Um, you're going to see these pictures. Those ones I'm going to use for that. Okay. I'm just going to use this picture. Um, this is actually another thing that I did. I actually did this for about 15 years. Um, I worked with lead and solder, and um, I made stained glass pieces like that. And then I worked in an artisan guild where I sold them, which was really cool. Uh, stained glass, that requires a ton of work. It requires a ton of uh, back strength between the grinding and the cutting the glass and the tracing and a lot, 90% of it's done standing up. So it's, you know, it's just kind of difficult um, to do that at this point. So that is one hobby that was in my previous life. All right, so there's one page, and we're going to come back. I may be writing on some of these. I'm not sure. But there's part of this chapter. Another part, we're going to put this over here. I like this roller coaster picture, so I definitely want to put that on here. And I think it goes well with the zip lining picture. And yeah, we'll throw this in here. All right, so this is going to go first. So this is, like I said, previously, it's so funny. This was the first time I had ever ridden on a roller coaster. Um, because I'm really afraid of heights. I don't like going up. And, you know, if they could make roller coasters that would just shoot you out and, you know, go and do your whoop whoops and that kind of stuff, I'd have no problem with it. But, man, when you have to climb, <laughs> I'm hiding down in the seat going, oh, my God, oh, my God, I'm going to die. So yeah, that wasn't cool, but anyways, this was the first roller coaster I ever rode on, and <laughs> we went on it, and then we come back through, and I saw that I wasn't looking at the picture, so I said to my husband, I said, we gotta go do it again, we have to do it again, I want a decent picture. So we did. It was really cool, a lot of fun. Again, that was something in the, the pre-life. 
prior. That'll work right there. So each one of these pictures represents just a little part of what I did um, prior to my accident and how I lived my life. I was very active. I was, we had a lot of fun. Um, I was always outside helping my husband, whether it was with uh, piling wood or cutting the grass or whatever the case may be. I was always there with him. And that also is not to be depicted in here, but it's a part of what I used to do. So now what I want to do is I actually cut these out from paper and you know what? I want to change them. They're brown. I want to darken these up a little bit. So I think I'm going to get out my distress inks and we're going to distress these. Be right back. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I wasn't recording. Um, I just took some black soot uh, distress ink with a little finger bobber here and I just kind of browned them up a little bit or put a little black around the edges. So now I gotta move this bring you back here um, now what I want to do is I want to attach these down and I'm not going to use that kind of tape I want to use some glue uh, make sure I have one that works so I'm going to take some glue maybe and I just want to glue these down now I use these little cogs because I thought, you know, this was, I, I, every time I see these, I think of time. All right, I got to stop my glue gun. Hold on. All right, it's not a glue gun, by the way, which I'm sure you figured that out, even though I said I had to stop my glue gun. Anyways, um, I saw these cogs and they just remind me of time. So I thought, you know, that'd be kind of cool to have on there because this was my time previously. I might get out my gel pens, which actually I probably will, either that or my paint pens and doodle around on some of these pages. I just want to put that there. And over here, like I said, I have more ideas for this page. Over here I have a couple of these cogs and then I have an old camera die cut. Um, I bought a whole group of these die cuts from um, a woman that I met here, actually on YouTube, no, on my Facebook group, and these were some of the dies that were included. I love them! It's funny, I have a cameo, and I prefer just using the big shot and die cuts, isn't that amazing? Crazy, I know. Alright, so let me figure out what we're going to do next, and I'll be right back. Alright, so now what I plan on doing, this part, I am going to put my story right here, and um, because this is chapter one. I'm going to leave that in there, though. The back of it, um, I'm going to take my little dauber here that had my black ink on it. Get my black ink out again. I don't know why I put it away. And what I want to do is I just want to go around the edges of this. I don't care that it has paint black on it. I just want to darken up this edge. Okay. Now just I'll put some sooty. Throw in some soot on here. That's okay, right? Yep, it is, because it's my page. So just kind of darken up the outside a little bit. I just don't want it to look so pristine. Okay. Alright. I'm going to put that back there. Okay, now I'm actually just going to take some plain archival ink. And I have oops, um, a silicone mat here that's a small hexagon. And what I want to do is just, this is going to be a background for a saying that I found, which I think is perfect for in this book. Now, the saying that I found is this. It says, sometimes we need to be hurt in order to grow. We must lose in order to gain. 
Sometimes some lessons are learned best through pain. Okay, so I'm going to cut this up and get it put on this page. First I have to find my scissors, move crap out of my way. Okay, so sometimes we need to be hurt in order to grow. I really agree with this saying. Um, because it's to me it's very true. Very true. So let me go ahead and get this on here. It's going to take some time. Sometimes, I'll try not to be too painful. We need to be hurt. Come on. Come on. Yay. We need to be hurt in order to grow. Right? The rest of it go. Okay. We must lose in order to gain. Let's take these off. And I'll take that off. Okay, we must lose. And these aren't are not spaced apart. I really don't care. We must lose in order to gain. And then we're going to do sometimes some lessons. Okay, so sometimes. Some lessons. Are better learn are best learned through pain. Are learned best. That's what it is. Are learned best. through pain. Now I'm sure there's going to be people out there that don't agree with that. Um, when I saw that quote I was like, wow, yeah, how true is that? Because as I go along on these chapters, um, you're going to see what I've learned through the pain. So let me go grab my pen so we can finish up these pages and I'll be right back. All right, so while I got my pens and pencils together that I want to use, I also brought out some bling here. Um, I'm going to throw some of these right here. <clears throat> Need my glue. I'm going to put some in the middle of these little time sprocket things here. There we go. There's one. Two, three, two. Come on. Three. And we'll put two over here. Put one. Two. Okay. And now I've gotten out my um, just a glitter pen, my Stabilo, um, a white Uniball, and then a couple Poscas, white and black. So I'm basically just going to doodle around on this. Um, I want to put my story on here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I need to bring this out a little bit. 
This is just my Stabilo. I'm not planning on, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so I'm not making sure that it is. I don't even know where I found this quote. It was in my quote book. And what will happen is when I find a quote that actually says something to me, I write it down in this little book. And when I was thinking about doing chapter one, I was going through my quote book, and this was the one that just jumped right off the page at me. So, here I have my little two inches I can work in again. Crazy. So I'm really hoping, um, first of all, that you enjoy this video series. You know, if you do, please subscribe, like, you know, thumbs up, all that happy stuff. Um, but also, I, I want to just share with everybody um, the process and that I've had to go through and that it's okay. Okay? Um, previously, yeah, did I miss my way of life? Oh, yeah. All of this? It was, it was awful. I felt for sure I was just, hmm, just not cool. So we're going to talk about all of that, those emotions in future broadcasts. And what I'm going to do is when I put a chapter name, I'm going to put what we're talking about so that if it's something that you think may cause you a trigger or um, something you're just really not comfortable to, you know, thinking about, um, that way you'll know what the topic is on the chapter. I don't want to cause anybody any, you know, un, undue hardness. And, and I just want to share with you my journey and how I've got from this to where I'm at now. And parts of it are painful. Absolutely. No doubt about it. Um, it's not a just happy, easy ride. By no means. Um... Chronic pain is something that can, it can bring you to your knees. You know, literally and figuratively and financially and the whole way around. It can, it definitely can bring you down to your knees. So I'm just sharing this journey with you um, and hope that, you know, like I said, at the, my introduction video, if I can help one person, that's all I want. Just help one person see that, I want to dry that real quick. Um, that it's okay, and there is light at the end of the tunnel. I just want to dry that up real quick, because when I flip that over, so I'm going to start playing around with some black pen, and just playing. Not really... I just don't want it to look like... I don't know. I want to play! Yeah, these, these were the happier times. Um, like I said, this was my team. That uh, Phenomenal. I had a fantastic team. I couldn't have asked for better people um, to work with. And uh, we did really well together. You know, do I still miss all this stuff? Oh, yeah. Some days. Not all the time. Um, some days are harder than others, and we'll talk about that. We'll t oops, we'll talk about what to get through, what to do to get through those days, and um, you know what our crutches are and what we need to do. And I don't really want to do a whole lot more on this. I kind of like it just the way it is. This is just a glitter pen. And what it will do is, just when I flip the page or move it, it'll show a little bit of glitter. So we're going to get some glitter in these cogs. I don't know, is that the right word for these? Cogs? That's what I call them. I don't know if that's the right word or not. I'm just throwing some glitter in them. I'm not being perfect. That's not what this is about. I don't have to be perfect. It's my life, my story, my chapter, my book. Okay. So, 
here we are with chapter one. And I still have to put my story there. Oh, maybe I'll just write chapter one. I think that's even better. I'm just blackening up the edges because I like to. Let's just see. I need some more of that black ink. I should learn never to put stuff away until I'm actually done. I want more of this. I want more. Yeah. That's what I want. So yeah, I think I'm going to write chapter one right there. And I may just even do it in my own handwriting, which is cool. Because that's what we're at. And like I said, I, you know, I really hope you enjoy this process. Um, I'm doing this for you guys as well as for me. Uh, I want to be able to take a look back at the journey that I've been through um, from the day that I had the accident so that's what I'm doing and I am gonna write that right there where's my other pen with this one <laughs> I just said I was gonna write chapter one in there didn't I that's okay I'll write it down here Chapter one. All right, so again, my cover, I haven't done a whole lot to that. I just kind of, I did some distress ink, um, threw a stencil on the front, did um, put my story in with a couple stamps. And here we go, chapter one, and this is my previous life. We've talked about each of the pictures and the reason they're in my previous life. We're going to get to that a little bit further on. So as always, I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, Please feel free to share, comment, like, all of the above, subscribe. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about and happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.